Up next on the show, friends, family, colleagues, and fans of late reggae star Raski Mono gather to pay tribute in Lagos. Celebrities from different eras, associates, pay their last respect to the one called the Rubber Dub Master. Nigerian music icons, fans, family and other celebrities gather at the Kassin House in Lagos, Southwest Nigeria for a tribute night for the late reggae music legend Raskimono. Represented a generation after Sonny Okosu, you know, and this was this. And Sonny Okosu's generation was the generation of freedom fighters. Yeah, if you link Sonny Okosu to Lucky Dube and to you know the reggae of Africa, then it was about freedom fighting. They were they were always thinking about apartheid and how people needed to be free. A short documentary takes everybody on a journey into the life and times of the Rastafarian, whose music provided the sound of many dance floors back in the 90s. It started showing the signs of what was to come when he began performing around his hometown. It was the music bomb that took him to the album based a famed high life musician. There will not be another kimono. A kimono was a uniter. Kimono was a great guy, completely detrabilized, completely detrabilized, right? Very close associates and also reggae music singer Righteous Man delivers a new tribute track for Askimono. Uh, it's, it's difficult for me to measure, but I will say he had great influence on the Nigerian reggae scene. You know, I would say Kimono literally, when he came on board, single-handedly changed the entire reggae sound in Nigeria. You know, his music wasn't just about the sound of it, it was also about the consciousness of his lyrics. You understand? So. I'm sure even a lot of younger generation reggae artists, they can attest to that fact. He, he lived for his art and he lived out the message of his music. That's Kimono. He believed in what he sang and he lived it out. For me, that's striking. And then the discipline that he brought into his art is exemplary. I, I, I never see him light a smoke, like I always say. I never see him... I, I never did I see him take any alcoholic liquor, but he was not against the people who did. He didn't criticize the people who did. A few months back, Kimono held a group of audience spellbound with his enchanting performance. One of them is veteran broadcaster Bisio Latsula, who couldn't resist the yearn of dancing to the rhythm in a rumba styling. Yeah. 
I have avoided granting interviews on this. Tony, our college will tell you, he came to me four times and I avoided it because I've not been able to come to terms with it. I mean, we know he's gone, but how do you, how do you take it in? He was a very strong friend of mine, family friend. There's no event that I do, he'll come with the family. And he was reciprocal between us. We just will, as I said, without repeating myself, we just thank God for his life, and that's why we're turning this into celebration instead of mourning. Another reggae legend, Majek Fashek, who also was a bandmate with Kimono during the short spell of Jastix, remembers him with the song Holy Spirit. He was a good man. He was a humble man. He was a good boy. Yeah, good. Yeah, good. He was like me. We believe in love. We believe in love, you know. One love. But it's not dead. Rasta don't die. Even though Raskimona died on the 10th of June 2018, his legacy leaves on through his works. No wonder they say, Rastas never die. Oh,